Everybody has pennies somewhere in their house, whether it's in a drawer, in a jar, or under the sofa cushion, or in their car. There are pennies everywhere. Lion Ted had a list. I don't even remember what the rest of the other things were. The supermarket sweep is always fun. Okay. The flash mob at the donut shop. Okay. Anything there you think? Well, that million penny thing looks pretty interesting. Oh. I saw the million pennies, and I'm an old coin collector. And every coin collector I've ever met started with pennies. And it, the whole thing just fascinated me. The Abington Lions Club in Massachusetts decided to turn their community's unwanted pennies into lucky ones with... The Abington Lions Million Penny Project. Phil, bring us some more. <laughs> Club members were hesitant at first. I thought they were nuts. That's a lot of pennies. <laughs> Why don't they just collect dollars? Wouldn't that be easier? <laughs> but quickly got on board. We wanted to see what a million would look like, and part of that was to get the whole rush about how cool it is to see something that's a million of something, and when do you ever get to do that? So how much is a million pennies exactly? It's $10,000. Lions began reaching out to the community to find where they could make the biggest change. They decided on Abington Library, which needed iPads and large print books for patrons, along with technology upgrades for their public conference room. There were definitely some benefits knowing where the money was going to go because the community got involved then. Lions rallied children in local schools to donate their pennies at the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade, Look at all the pennies. where the fundraiser kicked off. We got such an outpouring. They had their bags, they had coffee canisters, bottles full. Parents were then opening up their pocketbooks and purses and like, yeah, you can have our pennies. We knew at that point, I think, that we were going to have some success with this project. The story sparked interest with the media, and soon everyone wanted to chip in their two cents. After the kickoff, the club began averaging 100,000 pennies a month and reached their goal in eight months. It's funny, you ask somebody to buy a $1 raffle ticket and they'll like think about it, eh, no, I don't want to do that. You say, you got any change you want to get rid of? Oh yeah, here. And they'll end up giving you $4 worth of change. I was like, okay, keep giving it, we'll take it. I looked at some of the people in the Lions Club and said, what if we actually pull this off? Because I wasn't sure. What are we gonna do with them? We have a million pennies, almost 6,000 pounds. You can't just throw them in the trunk and go up to the drive-through at the bank. We can't possibly have a million pennies come in through our bank who's gonna carry these things, who's gonna count these things, and where the heck would we store them? Rather than count out every single penny, Lions and the bank decided to measure and weigh the pennies into bags worth $50 each. The bags were stored at Lion Phil's bowling alley until they were transferred to the Abington Library for a huge celebration. There, they were arranged into a sofa display to thank everyone for pitching in. When we actually got the pennies here and set it up, it looked more awesome than I think any of us thought. Abington Bank covered the cost of counting the donated pennies and enlisted Loomis to donate a truck for moving all one million pennies from the ceremony to the bank. I think that this project, in addition to growing community, will provide some wonderful services for our library patrons for a long time to come. This was my first time using an iPad. It could be both knowledgeable and a lot of fun. In retrospect, it was silly to even worry about it because when we decide to do something, it gets done. And the town rallied around it. Everybody wanted to be part of something big, something visible, and something exciting. And that's what a Million Penny Project is, big, exciting, and fun.